Lucy Nettlefold, Lucy Frances Nettlefold O.B. Nancy Nettlefold, 15 June 1891. She and three others took the Law Society to court for defining person as man. Life Nettlefold was born in London in 1891. Her parents were Emily Josephine, born Buckingham, and Oswald Nettlefold. Her father was a wholesaler of hardware. She was never awarded a law degree because she was a woman. She attended Newnham College, and she was the first woman to be awarded for coming first in both parts of Cambridge University's double law tripos. Cambridge allowed women to take the exams but never awarded them degrees for many decades. She was articled unofficially to a Lincoln's in law firm before joining the National Service for Women. Ben V. The Law Society In 1913, Nettlefold and three other women started an unsuccessful legal action requesting that the Law Society should be compelled to admit women to its preliminary examinations. The three other women were Maud Crofts, Karen Costello, who became a psychoanalyst, and Gwyneth Bebb. Her friend Bebb became the named party for Bebb v. The Law Society represented by Stanley Buckmaster Casey and R. A. Wright. The test case was heard in the Chancery Division in July 1913 by a hostile judge, Mr. Justice Joyce. The Solicitors Act 1843 included the sentence, Every word importing the masculine gender only shall extend and be applied to a female as well as a male. The judge ruled that women had no precedent and therefore he could not authorize the first. The decision was upheld in the Court of Appeal in December 1913, heard by the Master of the Rolls Lord Cozens Hardy, Lord Justice Swinfin Eady, and Lord Justice Fillimore included in the law reports in 1914. The press was mostly in favor, and the case helped the campaign for women's admission to the legal profession in Britain. The passage of the Sex Disqualification Removal Act 1919 allowed women to be lawyers. Bev was expected to be the first British woman lawyer, but she died giving birth to her second child. Nettlefold abandoned a career in law after World War I and became a director of Nettlefold and Sons in 1924. She and her brother became joint managing directors and served until 1945. Of the four who had contested the legal case, only Maud Crofts succeeded in becoming a lawyer. Nettlefold left law, Costello became a psychoanalyst, then died, but Crofts became the first woman lawyer and a partner in the law firm of Crofts in Graham and Wyatt and Company. Public life, life. In 1939, when war broke out, two women were appointed to lead the reformed Women's Royal Naval Service, WRNS. There was no staff and initially only volunteer helpers, but 1,500 new members were to be recruited. The interview panel was the WRNS director, Vera Lafton Matthews, her deputy, Ethel Goodenough, Myra Curtis and Nettlefold, who was chosen because she had been at university with Matthews. In 1944, Nettlefold joined the Royal Commission on Equal Pay. She and two others had to present a minority report as the commission would not support their position of equal pay for women as a recommendation. She joined London County Council in 1949 for the Conservative Party, and she became an OBE in 1946. She was on the LCC until 1960. In 1953, she joined Marylebone Borough Council. Her sister Joyce Newton Thompson became first woman mayor of Cape Town. Nettlefold retired in 1960 and died in Cape Town in 1966. Equals equals references equals equals equals.